YouTube, YouTubers. I'm out here messing with it. I thought I'd make a quick video um, just to share. This is my de-ruster, electrolysis de-ruster. Basically, what I've got is high dollar freebie from my brother-in-law. You can get these. Craigslist is your buddy here. Um, you need an old dumb battery charger. If you get a Oh boy, I'm wobbling all over the place. If you get a new one, uh, it's gonna, sh it's not gonna short, but it's gonna fault out. It's gonna not let you do it. So if you get your c or your other nice battery chargers, you don't want to use that for this. Just grab you an old cheap battery charger, and then get yourself a bucket, and get a Home Depot or wherever, and then get you some rebar and some wire. And what I've done here is all this rebar, that rebar, that this one, this one, this one, all of those are linked together. And then you've got this rebar that's laying across the top. It's not touching any of those. Um, this is what we're hanging the part to be clean. The part to be clean becomes the cathode in this. And uh, when you apply power, anode, cathode, positive goes to the grid. Negative goes to the bar that you're hanging the part to be cleaned. And then you plug her up and you let her go. Um, in this water, I've got about five gallons of water combined with a half a cup of 20 Mule Team Borax you make a nice little solution and you hang your parts to be cleaned and you start seeing all this magic you can already see um, some stuff that's coming off in there but basically you plug them up and you let it run and this is creating hydrogen so um, if you're a super wizard you could I guess harness that and make a hydrogen machine or you can just keep your garage ventilated so that you don't go kaboom in the middle of the night. Um, how you do this is up to you. I'm not an expert, so I'm just sharing what I got here. Um, so that's it, basically. Rebar, I welded some studs. Um, I'll tell you how I did this. I welded some studs, just some screw bolts. I flattened. I took them put them on the grinder, flattened one side. You can kind of see on that one it's flat. And I took some bolts, welded them, nuts, washers, Ring terminals, got some nice pretty wire from the Home Depot, and uh, linked it all together. And then I add power to it. Again, you have the biggest thing is the solution and uh, anode, cathode. You want this to become the part that's to be cleaned. This rod here is not touching anything other than the parts we're cleaning. Um, and actually in this video I've got, you can see I've got a, a bunch of wrenches. These are in a house fire. I'm trying to bring them back. Um, I've never ganged up the wrenches like this before. You can see I've got a bunch of them hanging there. I've never done it this way before. I always just usually hang one part. But I thought, you know, I don't know, we'll give it a shot. And uh, something I have noticed, the closer you get the anode and the cathode together, it seems like it, it has a stronger um, connection. And that's uh, that's it. So there is a simple how-to on a uh, electrolysis de-ruster. It's not magic. Make one.